Hey guys, it is here. So today we are going to make this type of awesome looking anime visuals in Blender. So for that we are going to do a simple scene setup and then some procedural shading and some compositing to make it look better. And so let's get started. Here. So we are going to use these two materials are made in Blender. You can get this in from description. One is metal and other is reflective metal. So this is a simple scene setup with some texture over it. It just comes with it. You can get this file from description. And here is the bridge scene. So first starting, I'm just deleting the wild light. I'm going to use only sunlight for it. It's more handy to work with this here. So I'm just dragging the material onto the cast. For so first, I can just drag and drop the material onto the but then I have to drag and drop on each segment of the car. So instead of doing this, I'm just copying the material nodes and just deleting the car shader node and just pasting over it. So it's more easy to do this way. And for the rim, I'm just dragging and dropping the reflective material over it. So now we are going to make wind chill material. So I am adding an empty object to control the texture coordinate after adding a new node material. So this is the basic material. I am deleting the principal VSTF node, adding a gradient texture. If you have node wrangler enabled, you can just control it to make these nodes. I am adding a color ramp, making the constant, dragging it over. So just dragging. Select the empty object drag it you can get some control over it adding another flag to make this type of reflections adding more flags you can get any number you want and just bring it to you have to adjust it to make it better it's not a linear way you have to do it on your type of way you can so there is a window material, it's looking good I guess, adjusting some more to get it better. Now for the headlight, I am just going to do with an emission shader, it's the more simplest way and we don't want any extra detail over it, but it's fine to do this. I don't want any color in between those slides, so I'm just dragging one of car material over it. So for tire shader, we are going to just make a simple tune shader. With diffuse shader, up shader to RGB node, and a color ramp node. Making color ramp to constant. Dragging it over to get some shadow and highlights. Making it look better to adjust. And for some details, we are going to just use the text shader we already get here. Get some details. And we have a bump node attached to principal BSTF. I am going to connect it to the few shader normals. Because of screen recording, my screen, my blender taking some much third over it. So it's here now we have to put in, but we don't want this white color over it. And just mixing it with mixed RGB nodes. Making color amp. Making color amp factor. Doing it to multiply. It's taking much load again. Just wait for it. So, I am just adding an invert node because I don't want to mess with the color ramp anymore. We have some good looking tire over here but I want some more detail over it. So I am just going to adjust it more. 
and now I'm adding a layer weight node to get some pencil detail over it with a type of outline type of thing I can add it in. I'm adding a mix RGB node with the add factor adjusting it on more so we can get some good looking highlights over it and it's pretty much with done with tire so now we are going to make some adjustment to the road material I'm just copying the simple tool BSTF we made earlier so this is a figure now and we are going to use the texture we got here to make it look good so it's only a color right now and we want to add some detail to it I'm just using the color BST color texture. So this is here now, but this is not the one. Adding a hue saturation node to get it more dark over here, and we want some blue color over here. I think star is over. There is no, that's not the case. Maybe. It's because of lighting, let's enable contact time. It's much better now. I'm adding a mix RP node to make it. Maybe adding some blue color to it. And just wait as you like. For buildings, we are just using some simple basic model. I just created that in two minutes, maybe. We just with some array modifier and a wireframe modifier for some for some details. You can see it's not some complicated stuff. It's very simple to make. You can see I use Voronoi texture to make it lightable. It it look good that way. So now we are going to create another copy of our scene here. So you can see we have a scene here. Now we have to make it a copy. So for that you have to just click on that and make it link copy. Now we have two scenes. I'm naming it light because we want some light information from there. I'm adding another collection and adding a cube with simple printer of the SPF and just name it days now if you go to cycles we don't want buildings over here we just want to light it over car I'm just adding a spotlight So it is looking like that because of our shader and we are going to fix this so you have to go pass it and choose the base material in the override menu so we have all over the place a single shader which we created on cube and now we are adjusting the spotlight and we don't want sun You can adjust it as you like, color does not matter that much right now. We are going to change it in compositing. So I am just changing the samples to 100. Now we are going to check if our sun is, our sun is disabled there but we want it here. I'm just going to make another collection for our sun only. Move our sun here. And just disable. Remember our sun is disabled in the light scene, not in original.
and for the outline just we have to go to edit mode select select sharp edges go to edges mark as C style edges so you have some edges and now get to select select random make it very low so we have some random edges selected and go to mark freestyle edges so we can get some good outlines over here make it point four. enable edge marks and face smoothing now we are going to make another layer click on new we have disabled the shader selections yeah. enable holdout make car and other stuff holdout so we can just get in the buildings and we does not want any freestyle outline here go to film and transparent it I'm just disabling freestyle over here and I don't want building over here then so compositing terms I'm going to duplicate it and select the other scene we just created I am, we are in a dumbbell scene now we have to create a light group for our spotlight we go now go to object properties in shading drop down menu select our spotlight and we are done here go to our original scene in compositing now we have to render it Our render is done so we have two scene over here one is light and one is our solar and we have our light group light so i'm just going to duplicate it and select the another layer we created for building i'm running an alpha overload join it and we have got pretty much seen here and we are going to add some node to make it look right so this process procedure is almost experimental so I am not going to explain it you can just copy it my shader to procedure and I am going to pass over it I am using this black and white image to create beginning and dragging to this our compositor. 